In order to maintain the proper buoyancy in the flow pod, you'll need a hydrometer. A hydrometer is used to measure the specific gravity of liquids. Uh, this is read as a ratio of the density of the salt solution to the density of water. Start by gently placing the hydrometer into the flow pod. The optimum density for flotation therapy is kept between 1.26 and 1.29 on the hydrometer. As you can see, this is read from the top to the bottom. Never let your solution reach or drop below 1.24. Measure your pod salinity often. If the proper buoyancy is lost, you'll need to add salt and or water. It takes approximately 70 pounds of salt added to increase the density of the water by 0.01. For instance, if your pod water reads at 1.24, you'll need to add at least 140 pounds of salt to raise the density to 1.26. By carefully monitoring and recording the density, you can actually determine the magic amount of salt to add each day to maintain proper density and never lose salinity. We found this to be approximately 3 cups of salt added each day. This will save you a lot of time and energy and avoid having to add 100 to 200 pounds of salt to your pot all at once. Always ensure that the salt has been properly broken up into granular form before adding. If you're adding 50 to 100 pounds of salt or more, it's sometimes advisable to dissolve the salt first in a small bucket of water, then add to the flow pod. Allow time for the solution to settle and enjoy zero gravity in the flow pod.